Okay, at this point, there is zero doubt that GTA 6 will most likely be the best game of this decade, and here are five reasons why. Coming at you with number one, we have artificial intelligent police officers, which means the cops are going to be even 10 times more smarter than the previous GTAs. And if you think you're safe, you're not, because you can be robbing a store, and the cops may take their time, but if you're robbing a store and there's a car accident with a pedestrian outside, and you walk outside mid-robbery, they're going to stop what they're doing to go stop you. Police will also receive character descriptions such as the clothes you're wearing, tattoos, and your hairstyles. And if you're driving a getaway vehicle, only painting the car is not going to help it since they're going to have descriptions of the license plate as well. Also expect routine traffic stops, so if you see a cop by a red light, do not run that red light because you will be pulled over. I also will be expecting a Red Dead Redemption type of style when it comes to committing a crime near no one, but if there are witnesses nearby, you probably will have to take out the witnesses before they report the crime. The second reason GTA 6 would be the best game of the decade is character build and personalization. For the OGs out there, if you guys know, in GTA San Andreas, if you guys were to eat a lot of food, CJ would become hella fat. If you guys were to work out, he'd become hella strong, or if you guys were not to eat or work out, he would become mad skinny. As well with the game reacting back with CJ's physiques, even sometimes you would even have to get stronger to even do a mission or lose weight to do a mission. As well, learning new fighting moves just like in GTA San Andreas, Kung Fu, Boxing, and Karate might be options as well in GTA 6. Of course, you're actually going to have to go through the training and the moves are going to get difficult as you go on. Also, think about it. In GTA Online, you're fighting somebody who knows how to box and you know how to use Kung Fu. How would that fight go? I think that's going to be a whole new experience for the player. Number three, even though this is probably like the best one, dedicated GTA 6 RP servers. If you guys don't know, Rockstar Games has collided with ways with cfx.re and if you guys did not know back in 2015 rockstar games trying to shut them down but wait, wait, wait hang on just give me a second and listen to me for a second you guys might think i'm crazy but i promise you it kind of makes sense think about it if rockstar games is working on gta online 2 as well with colliding with cfx.re to have official gta 6 rp servers what would their reason be to get rid of the gta 5 map instead of just keeping it in the game think about that we already know that gta 6 is called project america or something around that which means that there will probably be some airports in the game which means that you could probably fly to other cities or other states in the game also kind of like in gta san andreas how you're able to fly between san fierro los Ventures, and los santos even though this is nowhere in the leaks and i'm not saying that this is a fact but i personally think that some point in the gta 6 storyline maybe even online we will see a new and improved gta version of las vegas which was los Ventures. i guess something that does kind of back that up is that rockstar said that they will continuously be working on the game after after it's out which meaning i think after every year they plan on doing an expansion which is either a map expansion a huge dlc expansion either way we'll probably be seeing a new city throughout each expansion with the trolls rockstar really are who's to say that rockstar games don't have something up their sleeve and adding a city like atlanta georgia in the game too out of unexpectation the amount of fans that will go crazy about that bro a new city that we've never seen before in the gta game bro holy and not only the new city that we've never seen before it'll be a new city that we'll be able to fly and travel to as well return to older cities bro this is a feeling of a video game that we have not felt yet i mean i guess the crew too kind of has this a little bit but come on the crew come on like really think about it come on it's the crew it would just make the overall experience of not only gta online too but also the dedicated gta rp servers even better because if we have different cities that we can go to and just rp in oh my god bro i'm about to know literally the only downside is i think that gta 6 will actually not be coming out on pc which actually kind of makes sense rockstar's piss at people are modding the game and adding more shit to the game so they're coming out their own rp server but that's besides the point i'm personally just not expecting gta 6 to drop on pc at all like at all i'm honestly not and the fourth reason why gta 6 would be the best game of our decade is because all the interiors that we're gonna have like actually let's take a moment and look back for a second everyone remembers the beautiful north point mall we had in gta vice city as well all the clubs the houses as well as gta 4 the clubs that we had gta 5 the clubs and gta 6 imagine the clubs gyms airports malls houses little shopping centers you know what i'm saying there's mad places that you could enter and it'll be really cool to have another mission incorporating us breaking into a military base and stealing some sort of like man-made ufo or like jetpack or some shit too like you guys remember gta san andreas let's break into the military base and steal the jetpack that mission was super fun even a mission where we're stealing like some sort of futuristic weapons out of a military base where you have to go like either deep underground or like go on a military base that's an island oh my just stuff like that 
I miss having stuff like that to where the military just will attack on site. We need more of that. And here's a cool fact. Pay close attention to the construction sites throughout the game because some will be destroyed or even finished by the end of it. Compared to GTA 5 where all the construction sites actually sat under construction for the past 10 years, you know what I mean? And with that being said, this brings us into our fifth reason on why GTA 6 will be the best game of our decade. And that, my friends, is the weather. Like in Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 6 will have dynamic weather, which means the clouds are not too they are volumetric, which means the clouds will change in real time depending on if it's raining, sunny, or even windy. And you guys better put your raincoats on because GTA 6 will be incorporating Florida's hurricanes, which means that you will probably see some destruction come from the hurricanes, where you might see some neighborhoods get destroyed, some floodings in GTA 6. We might see people on canoes in their neighborhoods in GTA 6. We might be seeing a new age weather system coming into this game, like on some real life IRL weather control global warming shit. <laughs> Which also probably means, depending on the category of the hurricane, the longer it will take to fix the part of the map. And if you're on a flooded part of the map, be careful because even if you're in a neighborhood, you might run into some alligators. Florida technically isn't a part of Tornado Alley, but it's a high possibility we could expect some water spirals happening in the water. Although, as they might not be as violent as the hurricanes, it'll still be quite cool to see a water spiral on the distance as you're riding a boat or even driving along the coast. Slightly similar to the sand nados that you see in this GTA 5 mod pack. It is also smart to stay beware of the weather conditions as you're flying planes and helicopters since the weather conditions could affect how you fly. I'm just personally mad excited for this game and I think we're getting closer and closer to at least some sort of reveal trailer of this game. There's an anonymous Rockstar insider that goes by the name Tez2 who also agrees. He says everything seems to line up for a high likelihood of Rockstar announcing 6 soon probably within the upcoming months. If that happens, we might see a new collectible or a new hunt relating to 6 within a December update, just like a treasure hunt with the Doomsday Heist update. Makes sense, it makes sense if they did it like that. So let me know, comment down below what you're most excited for about GTA 6 and what will be the first thing you're gonna do in the game after you finish the first mission. And those of you that are offended, of G4, you guys can use code MIZ for 30% off on all your G4 purchases at checkout. Both Resident Evil 4 and Attack on Titan flavors just dropped, so make sure y'all go act up on that game and try them out. For those of you that are new here, make sure y'all drop a fat subscribe it's free you know what I'm saying it's free and also go check out my main channel stop playing with the main channel bro it's free go over there drop a sub ski pull up to the twitch kick and tiktok lives all links down in the bottom below and I'll see y'all later love y'all there's only one of you remember that forever peace go